now that we have this sheet um, set up, I would um, like it that you try to set up the constraints on your own, constraints, the objective function and whatever necessary, and um, then see if you get the right answer. What I'm going to do here is um, try to set up um, um, a sheet and uh, in a way that it won't work. Okay, so we're trying to get the wrong answer first. So I go to solver and I'm assuming you have the solver installed in the database, data tab. Um, so I go to solver and say, hey, help me. And how do I help? So I need to set my objective function first where I say that um, my total cost is my objective, which I need to minimize. Um, what do I change? I change many things here. I have to change my transportation network. How much do I transport from and to? Then I put a comma in the change variable cells. I need to decide how much to produce in the factories, comma. And I also need to have this binary decision whether I use a factory or not. So those are my uh, variables or change the cells that the decisions that I need to make. My constraints. So my first constraint is usually um, the standard set of constraints where I say the total received at the markets must be equal to what they need. So we, do, we give the markets what they need. We don't give them anything more. We don't give them anything less. The next is that the total supplied must be less than or equal to the capacities that we have, right? So whatever is the capacity, we cannot give more than that. Add, we also know that the production decisions are binary whether it's one or two zero or one so i say that i create a constraint that they're binary that they are zero and one and i also have one more thing that the total produced right whatever i produce has to be equal to this numbers of total supply, right? So what I produce in Brazil has to be equal to what I supply from Brazil um, because otherwise, how can I supply? And I say, okay, and um, I select linear because everything is, um, the fixed cost here are not linear, but we will come to that in a bit um, and then ask it to solve. And it solves it and gives me this number, which is, um, it says, creates this dialog box, and I say, okay, keep the solver solution. I get a number of uh, 106 of 700, 106,700, but my fixed cost is zero. Um, because it, 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 there's virtually no constraint here which constrains it from allocating the fixed cost to a particular factory. So what I get is a situation where um, Excel does not take the fixed cost into consideration and um, I create could be creating what are essentially a wrong decision. So what we need in the next video is a way to ensure that Excel considers the fixed cost in the decision making. Um, think about it. How would you do that? And uh, come back in the next video.